Hallelujah. 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 And the light is shining directly on your head and it is, uh, you know. <laughs> it is showing how much a spirit is there. <laughs> the light is directly on your head here. I then want to do that it is coming and falling. What can I say? I cannot complain also. Na? <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, brothers and sisters, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everyone has tightened their belts. Yes, fasten the seat belts. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Brother gave us some good news, right? Yes. But bro, to be honest with you, I'm not happy with the good news. Really? Yes. You know the good news and the best news is when you will hear Hillary has gone to heaven. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it. <laughs> <laughs> praise God. Praise God. That is one good news. Everybody looks forward to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise God. That's the happiest day of my life. That is the happiest moment that we should all look forward for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, Corpus Christi. What is the full meaning of this? The meaning of this is the body and blood of Christ. Yes, amen. Corpus Christi, the meaning of it is the body and blood of Christ. Hallelujah. It all began on Monday, Thursday. Hallelujah. It all began with the dinner that Jesus hosted for his 12 disciples. Amen. Amen. It all began with the washing of the feet. And it ended on the cross of Calvary. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus took the cup and said, This is my blood. This is my body. Hallelujah. Which will be, which will be which will be given up for you for you, uh, brothers and sisters. I don't know if you all have seen, but you all must see. There are lots of uh, pictures, and there are lots of movies where the body or where the Eucharist has become the body of Jesus. Amen. Okay. I would like to just uh, share a small one with you all. Uh, can you give me a screen share? That, uh, one minute. Uh, just screen share, yeah. One minute, one minute. Roy, give a screen share. Can you see my screen? No. So what? You have given me a screen share? Can see? Yeah, it is shared, of course. Okay, now it's okay? No, brother, I can't see it. You can't see? Now ah, also? Now, now you should, now, now it is correct, yeah. Now it is okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, did you all hear that? No, there was no sound. There was no sound? No, 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 no. Okay, fine. You all can go and see it. It is AD, uh, 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 what do you call, uh, 700. So it is about 8, 9, uh, uh, around uh, uh, 10, 11 centuries. Uh -huh. Okay? Wow. And they have tested it time and again. They have found it is the tissue of the heart. Yes. The human body, human blood. Correct. Okay. Yes. And the, even the container where it is preserved, it is not sealed on anything. Right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. this is just one of the olden miracles. Even in the miracle in the fourth century also is, is available over there. So, brothers and sisters, what we are looking at is that Jesus gave us his body and Jesus gave us his blood. And we see in, in John chapter 6, he says, whoever eats my body and drinks my blood has life in him. Has life in him. Yes. Okay? So, whoever does not eat his body and does not drink his blood has no life. Has no life. Somebody say has no life. Has no life. Amen. Amen. Now what does that mean? Those non-Catholics, what is going to happen to them? I have no idea. But one thing that I know is those who eat his body and drink his blood has life in them. I'll read it to you. Okay? Verse 53. John chapter 6, verse 53. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Amen. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. Has Amen. eternal life. Somebody say, has eternal life. Has eternal life. Amen. And I will raise him up at the last day. Hallelujah. My flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. My flesh is meat, and my blood is drink. He who eats, verse 56, he who eats my flesh and he drinks my blood. blood dwells in me and I in him. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. And you can read the whole thing. He says in verse 51, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If you eat, if, if any man eats of this bread, he shall, have, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. So the whole chapter of John chapter 6 is so well defined. And despite all that is written, what happens, as I said to your brothers and sisters, the Satan stole from the Catholic Church our people. And what did he give them? He gave them lovely praise and worship. And he gave them lovely word of God. And he stole from them Mother Mary, he stole from them uh, uh, confession and he stole from them the Eucharist. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So they were happy with, with the lovely praise and worship. They were happy with the lovely uh, Eucharist. I mean, with the lovely uh, uh, teachings. So it was like taking the real, uh, uh, this thing, feeding bottle from the mouth of the baby 
and giving the baby a pacifier. Right. And so many people are happy with that because they can clap and sing and dance and this and that. It's all joyful, it's all wonderful and all miracles and so on and so forth. But what they are missing is that real bread, is that real blood, which is the body and blood of Jesus, which is there to give us eternal life. Without that, there is nothing. Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. if you go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, if you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 27, I don't want to take too much of your time. All of you know about Corpus, Corpus Christi. If you all have any questions, I will definitely answer them. Chapter 27, I'm in chapter 11, verse 27. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 27. Yes. Wherefore, whoever eats this bread and drinks this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Yeah. I'm reading it again. Therefore, whoever eats this bread and drinks this cup. Now, what we are talking about? This bread and this cup. Yes. Okay. And what does St. Paul say? Shall be guilty if you're drinking it unworthily. That means unworthily means what? Uh, we're in a sinful state. We are in a sinful state. We are not in the state of grace. Amen. Not in the state of grace. Correct. That is so right. when we are eating this body or when we are eating this bread and we are drinking this blood unworthily, we are eating and drinking the body and blood of Jesus. We are guilty of the body and blood of Jesus. So, the bread and the wine is transformed into the body and blood of Jesus. And that is called transubstantiation. Amen. A transubstantiation. A transformation that occurs. Okay, now I don't know if you, if any of you all are familiar, but the highest form of yoga, the highest form of yoga, is trans meditation. Oh. Are you getting the word trans meditation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The highest form. Highest form of yoga is trans meditation. What yeah. does that mean? What does that mean? It means that a man, a human being who is doing that yoga is just sitting in that yogic position but his body is just there but his spirit is, can go out anywhere in the world. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. That's called trans meditation. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And why I'm comparing it here? Because this is called transubstantiation. You may look at it as the body, but it is transubstantiated into the body of Jesus, into the blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just like in the yogic meditation, which is called trans meditation. Yes. Where the body, you can see the human being over there. But that human being is not really there. His spirit can go and beat anybody, can rob anything, can remove everything and do anything like any other human person. Yes, but it yes. has got no limits. It has got no boundaries. It can go even in a closed room and so on and so forth. Yes. Because it becomes a true spirit. Amen. Okay? So Amen. we must all understand the spiritual um, aspects and concepts of what the Bible is trying to teach us. So the Bible is telling us that Jesus is the true bread that came down from heaven. Amen. And this true bread, he says, I'm the true bread. I will give you my body. I will give you my blood. If you have eaten my body and if you have drank my blood, yes. you have eternal life in you. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 
at the same time if you eat this body or if you eat this bread and if you drink this wine unworthily you are eating and drinking damnation upon yourself instead of giving or bringing eternal life you are bringing and eating eternal damnation hallelujah so how serious it is you can understand praise the lord praise so the lord let me, let me go on to read you let a man examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of that cup for he that eats and drinks unworthily eats and drinks damnation upon himself not discerning the lord's body for this cause now listen to this verse 30 for this cause many are weak and sickly among you and many asleep many asleep yes. many have died many are weak many are sickly so Amen. if someone is sick my dear friends it's probably because it's probably because we have been eating and drinking the body and blood of jesus unworthily i did not say that the bible says that yes yes i'm not judging you the bible is judging you amen amen so you check for yourselves don't only simply say pray for me pray for me pray for me pray for me amen okay then yes. for if we would judge ourselves was 31 if we would judge ourselves we should not be judged if we judge ourselves then we don't need somebody else to judge us okay Hallelujah. but when we are judged we are chastened of the lord that we should not be condemned with the world therefore my brethren when we come together eat to eat tarry for one another okay so what is he saying he is saying that this body or rather this bread and this wine is the body and blood of jesus if you eat it worthily you are having eternal life Yes. if you eat it unworthily you are bringing damnation your body is sick you are weak Amen. and you may even die yes please stop so if you are unworthy of that body of christ don't go don't approach yeah. it's like how the uh, what do you call the uh, tabernacle how the uh, uh, covenant box was there and when the people who were carrying the the cart touched that uh, that cart and touched that uh, uh, this thing uh, box they yes. died they died okay yeah. so we need to be very very careful this is holy 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 as the angels uh, proclaim yes yes so this is what we are talking is the corpus christi the body and blood of jesus the holy body and blood you know what was offered to the priest and the high priest ordinary people were not supposed to eat it yes ordinary people could not eat it yes yes it was consecrated bread and that consecrated bread was given so much of reverence reverence how much more reverence should we give the eucharist amen amen how much more reverence yes okay very true, very true. so end of the day giving reverence to that eucharist is giving reverence to god giving reverence to jesus Hallelujah. because that is the true body that is the true blood of jesus jesus amen amen amen, amen. amen. hallelujah hallelujah so brothers and sisters i leave you with this thought to check for yourself whether you really believe in the transubstantiation whether you really approach the body of christ with reverence whether you have been eating that body and blood unworthily whether you are sick whether you are weak yes whether you whether you have brought damnation upon yourself or whether you have eaten 
and drunk that body of blood of Jesus worthily with full reverence and have life and life eternal within you forever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. That's it. Wonderful, wonderful, brother. Wonderful. Any questions? Anybody with questions, please raise your hand. No, brother. It's no a big questions. Topic. It's a big topic. It's a big topic anyway. Like what you said yesterday. It's huge, too huge. Right. I have put it. In, I have put it in a nutshell, just yeah. for a simple reason. Right. Explaining and explaining, we can explain many things. Amen. But we know what is Corpus Christi. Yes. We know what is eating uh, worthily. We know what is eating unworthily. Correct. We know what reverence to give, and we know what we get. That's all. Amen. 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 In a nutshell. Correct. 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 Amen. 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 The uh, best part is, you know, where people are trying to rob comedian and sell it outside to yes. all the, yes. that part, brother. Just explain yeah. to everybody. <coughs> See, if you, if you know, I don't know if you're aware of what is black mass. Black mass, yes. Black mass is like, uh, you know, um, um, some time ago, uh, Satan had come out with uh, backmasking of uh, rock music. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. So if you had to backmask it, you would come to know the lyrics of the, of the songs. Right, right. So in the same way, they have imitated mass and they do backmasking. Right. So it is called black mass. Right, right. In the same way, a lot of people um, even recite the Bible and even the Quran in the reverse way yes. and, and perform uh, what do you call magic, perform uh -huh. uh, uh, rituals, perform Ritual. evil. Yeah, yeah. So what people do is rob the Eucharist from the churches yes. and sell it to the Satan. Or right. satanists. Yeah. They desecrate it because as they desecrate this Eucharist, they're desecrating the body of Christ. Hallelujah. And the more you desecrate it, the more power you get. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Satanic power, not the religious power. Yes, yes, yes. The more you desecrate this body of Christ, the yes. more you the more pain you cause to Jesus. Hallelujah. And the more pain you cause to Jesus, the more power you get as a yes. satanist. Amen. So during this black mass, they yes. need to have this Eucharist. They have to have this Eucharist. Because without this uh, Eucharist, mass is useless. In the same way, without this Eucharist, their black mass is useless. Yes. yes. It's a satanic ritual. Very true. Very true. They may say many, yes. many things on the outside, but in the real, real, real mass, satanic mass or the black mass cannot be held without Amen. this Eucharist. And, and a lot of people sell yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. And there are, as, as they say, the big time uh, robbers and the small time robbers and all that. So the big time robbers, they do big time things. And one more thing is if, um, if um, you have a satanist, a true satanist, you give him a thousand host, a thousand uh, Eucharistic host, and you put one or two or three uh, uh, blessed hosts in it, yeah. he will pick up the, uh, the uh, blessed host very easily. Very, very easily he'll pick it up and show it to you. Fantastic. If he's a true, true satanist. Exactly. They so you can see and you can understand the power of God. You can understand and see the power of the Eucharist. Amen. Amen. There are many, many Eucharistic miracles. People, when they have just simply taken the Eucharist and got healed. And many, many Eucharistic miracles where the uh, 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 Eucharist has become flesh on people's tongues and so on and so forth. 
Yes. Many, 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 many. True, very true. Praise God. Praise so God. if we know all of this, if we know all of this, if I know that if I drink this poison, I'll die. If yes. I know I take this medicine, I will live. What will I choose? Medicine, of course. Praise God. Yes. But at the moment, unfortunately, knowingly, People are going to the Eucharist. You'll see whenever you go to the church, you'll see so many people taking the Eucharist. I hope they're all clean and, and pure and holy before they go to that Eucharist. Yeah, yeah. That is what, that is what uh, Bishop Valley used to always say. These days, the queue for communion is so big, I get really worried as to how many have really, you know, in that state of grace to ex uh, receive a communion. Very true. I because remember, unfortunately, not many times, I don't think many Catholics have ever heard this First Corinthians chapter 11 about eating and drinking the body and blood of Jesus unworthily. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think they have ever heard that. Correct, correct, correct. You tell me in which reading, which day that uh, this reading is taken. I don't know. I've never heard it in the church. Mm -hmm. But uh, priests keep announcing, huh? don't take it in this, you have to be in the state of grace. And I think that is why during before the mass, Lord, I'm not worthy that you enter under my roof. You know, that prayer is so powerful. But only say the word and I shall be healed. Bro, I fully appreciate what you're telling me. Yeah. But let me ask you something. Right. What is repentance? Repentance is, of course, confession. No. Repentance is uh, according to what you said just now. It's yeah. just saying, oh, Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I'm sorry. Of course, it is the right way of doing it. No, we say no, we are sir. sorry for our sins. No, sir. No, brother. Wrong again. No, brother. What repentance, is repentance is feeling that pain that you have caused to your Jesus. Yeah, that's right. That's right. By just saying I'm sorry doesn't no, mean anything. No, no, no. Oh, no. So, so when though, when yeah. people say, Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Yeah. They say that without even meaning it. And they that, go for the they go yeah. for the Eucharist. Yeah, we should mean it. We should mean it. Otherwise, it's useless. If, even if we mean it, if you see the most important thing is if I know that there is a sin in my life, yeah. I should repent for it. Absolutely. And I should say, Lord, I'm not worthy, but Immediately after taking this Eucharist, I'm going to go for a confession or whatever. I know. I know. Very true. That is right. You got to go for confession. That is very much a must and a need. Like what Padre P. used to say, I used to go practically every day for confession. No two ways Amen. about it. Amen. 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 Okay, my brothers and sisters, thank you very much for being with us this evening. Uh, we just have a small intercession. Uh, anybody has any uh, need? How is Vincent's father, uh, mother doing? Uh, Savio, how is uh, brother Vincent's uh, mother doing as of now? Uh, I never called, bro. Okay, okay, fine. No problem. I never called, so I'll, I'll talk to him in, in the night. Yeah, yeah. Sister Veronica, please come on. Yes, brother. Yeah, please. Uh, just remember, brother Vincent's mother, who's also in the hospital, okay? Okay, brother. Yeah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, I bring forth all my petitions Jesus. and place them at your feet. Lord, I, Lord, I bring forth um, brother Vincent's mother, who is not well. Bring her back to our good health, Lord Jesus. Bless her with good health. May she live for a long life. May she have a long life. We Ooh. pray this intercession of at your feet through the intercession of our blessed mother. Yes, Lord. Lord, I bring before you all the members of our family, the Amen. upper room family, the members who are in the Zoom meeting right now, yes, and our friends and our bro brothers and sisters, yes, our Lord. own brothers and sisters. Lord Jesus, bless them with good health. Bless them with their job. Bless them in their job. Lord, many of them have lost their job. Yes, Lord, Lord, 
there, there are many of them who have not received their salary. Some yes. are getting half salary. Bless yes. them, Lord Jesus. Bless their family. Bless the children who are longing for proper food at Hallelujah. this moment. Pray for yes. those people who are going from one, one city to the other city, from the city yes. to their hometown. Yes, Lord. From one country to another country. Lord, bless all of them, Lord Jesus. I also bless the doctors, the nurses, yes, the frontline Lord. workers, the Amen. ambulance drivers, the police. Yes, and there are so many of them. There are so many of them whom we don't know. Local, uh, civil people who are working for uh, people who are suffering now at this time, Lord Jesus. You know each and everybody. We don't, though we don't know, you know each and everybody. I place everybody at your feet, Lord Jesus. Bless them, give them good health. I pray for the rulers of UAE, the rulers of India, the rulers of other countries. Bless them with good, so a sound mind that they take a proper decision yes. for, the, for the betterment of their countrymen. I pray Hallelujah. for the army, the navy, Hallelujah. for the police department, yes, the medical. Sir. Yes, the RTA also yes. because there are people who are traveling and the, there are buses who are taking people not only RTA in Dubai but the people the buses and uh, vehicles tra tra trains that are taking people from one place to the other. Yes. Bless each and everybody, Lord Jesus. Lord Hallelujah. Jesus, I place before you the youth of today. They are all stranded, Lord Jesus. They are sitting at home and studying. There are they are like in. It's, it's in, they are in two minds what to do about their future. Lord, yes. you know. Lord, yes. we place them at your feet, Lord Jesus. Yes. Their education is very important, Lord. Hallelujah. Because without education, there is nothing in this world, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I place before you the teachers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The principals. Give Hallelujah. them also a good sound of mind, Lord Jesus. The authorities who are in the, the education department, the ministers who are giving a, and bringing out new laws and rules for the children yes lord bless them also lord jesus hallelujah i also pray for the orphans the yes. mentally retarded yes lord the, old, the aged people who are in the often in the old for the age there are family members who are just dumping their old parents lord jesus yes, they don't lord. Have to take care of them they forget that their parents mm. have done so much for them in their childhood but they are just there. We have been seeing on so many incidences on news in yes. our, our social media. Lord Jesus, yes. bless those children with a good heart, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, Lord, they shouldn't do Lord, that, Lord. Because yes. today they are doing that, tomorrow it is their turn. When they grow old, they should realize that yes. they should not do that. Give them Hallelujah. a sound mind, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The people who are sick in oh. hospital. Now, because of this COVID, it looks like all the other patients are put at, put behind. There are patients who are suffering from cancer. There are so many other diseases. Lord Jesus, people are saying that because of this, other patients are not getting place in the hospital. Doctors are not taking care of them. Yes, a very good friend of ours, a very young person of my age, he also succumbed to this um, COVID-19. Lord Gosh. Jesus, there are, like, there are so many of them, Lord Jesus, we Gosh. don't know. Some of them we come to know, some of them we, we don't know later, we come to know. Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. we place their hearts, their soul in the, at your feet, Lord Jesus. Give them Hallelujah. eternal rest, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Glory Praise to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank Hallelujah. God. God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Praise you, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, God. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Thank you very much. Sister Marnett, say the closing prayer. Sister Marnett, are you there? Hello? Yes, please. Unveil yourself. Uh, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Most holy and almighty God, we thank and praise you for giving us your most precious body and blood of your only Son, Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. The institution of the sacrament of the Holy Communion. 
Jesus. We are able to nourish our bodies and souls, Lord. Oh, yes, yeah. Lord. We thank you for this beautiful sacrament, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In receiving the body and blood of Jesus, Lord, we live in you, Lord Jesus, and through Amen. you. Amen. Yes, Lord. We praise you for offering yourself as an eternal sacrifice, Lord, Lord, for our salvation. Yes. Lord. Even though we are not worthy to receive you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Shall we are closing him, eh?